Because like Jada nor I ever yeah. used the word feud, so it just became more of a, a media a media creation, yeah. kind of like back in the day. Neither one of us actually knows what originally tr you know took place back then, but the people that we had around us oh. were like, well, you know how she feels about you, yeah. and they were like, well, you know how she feels about you, and then uh -huh. it was like. Okay, for girl bot yeah. for 17 years. Wow. You mean to tell me that Gabriel Union and Jada Pinkett knew that they were feuding for exactly 17 years, but they both had no idea why they were feuding? Please, what do you take us for? Well, I know that Jada hasn't exactly gotten along with many women in Hollywood, but is the reason she fell out with Gabby the same reason she had a fallout with Nia Long? And for both Gabriel and Nia, did it have anything to do with Will Smith? And Will Smith, I love him so much. He's just such a... He's a natural born teacher. Okay, there was a time when Jada told Essence about her relationship with Gabriel, saying, she and I didn't talk for 17 years and we could not remember why. There was just tension between us every time we would see each other. There was some moment that we had that just left a bad taste in both of our mouths. When we got on the phone to try to figure out what it was, we could not figure it out. It was just us being young divas. Jada actually said the same thing in another interview with Extra when talking about how Gabriel would make an appearance on the red table talk yes. and then I have a really touching episode with Gabrielle Union where we have yeah. kind of a we haven't really been on the best of terms for 17 years and we have a reconciliation according to Jada when the producer said they wanted to do a girlfriend show Gabriel's name just kept coming up and it just couldn't be anything else and Jada also saw that as an opportunity to squash whatever was happening between them well when she was asked if the beef was over Jada again said that she didn't know how it started oh definitely right. yeah no right. I don't even and we don't even know how it started. You know, Gabrielle also said that it was probably both their egos that may have caused them to have bad blood for almost two decades, but couldn't pinpoint a specific incident. And even though we're both very outspoken women, yes. we're both activists, our husbands are friends, I've worked with our husband, we, were, we both felt we had too much pride and too much yeah. insecurities to just say, hey, did that ever actually happen or was that a creation right. of someone else? who did not want to see two women rise together. Um, I didn't quite believe Jada and Gab when they said that they didn't know how the beef started. I mean, 17 is a very specific number, not a number that has been rounded up or down. In my opinion, for Jada to remember that they had been feuding for exactly 17 years, that means that something specific happened to spark the beef. And when I do the math, since Jada spoke about their feud in 2018, it means that whatever happened between them happened around 2001. Now, I have tried looking and they were never on set together around that time, which only makes me believe that whatever was happening between them was more personal. Also, during their sit down on the Red Table Talk, Gabby was literally in tears the whole time with the whole ugly cry, but they both insisted that they did not remember why they disliked one another and wouldn't even be in the same room or speak for 17 years. Why did Gabby seem so overly emotional and Jada was not? Is it because Gabrielle is the one who did something to Jada? Many fans say that it was Gabrielle who helped spread those rumors about Will and Dwayne Martin around Hollywood, and Jada allegedly confronted her about it. This would make sense that they would pretend not to know what happened, right? And we all heard those rumors that Gabrielle allegedly slept with Will Smith during Bad Boys 2, and that only intensified whatever was already going on between them. In fact, I remember a blind item some time back that said that there was a young, gorgeous woman that everyone wanted on their show back in the early 2000s. That woman was assumed to be Gabrielle, and just like every other person, Person, Will wanted Gabrielle for a movie he was doing, and the movie just so happened to be Bad Boys 2. Apparently, Gabby and Will got along great, and everyone was commenting on how great they looked together, which really pissed Jada off. So it may have been the jealousy, or the fact that Jada and Gabrielle have always been strong black women who were always pitted against each other, so they just couldn't coexist. But you know what? It's for possibly the same reasons that Jada and Nia also never got along. Now, when it comes to Nia, it's actually very possible that she and Jada never got along because most of the time they were being considered for the same roles and Nia herself confirmed this. When I started really working as an actress, there were about four of us. Jada Pinkett Smith, Halle Berry, Regina King, and Jasmine Guy. But the women that were, I was in constant competition with, mostly it was me and Jada. 
However, it's also possible that just like with Gabrielle, Will Smith played a huge part in Jada and Nia not getting along. As far as Nia and Will are concerned, they met when Nia played Lisa Wilkes in the hit 90s sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, starring as one of Will Smith's many girlfriends, and the only one who got him to settle down. Apparently, while they were filming, Will Smith was just the kindest, most supportive person, and Nia loved that about him. And he would always just come through the door with this huge amount of love and energy and this abundance of giving and support. And he believes that he can do anything. And that was the first time that I had ever seen a black man take that position. So it was very inspiring for me. But did you know that Jada was actually supposed to play that role? During an interview on People TV, Nia said that the producers initially cast Jada in the role of Will's girlfriend, but they reconsidered because they felt that Jada was too short. And so the joke that I have with Jada is I got the job but she got the husband. And the maybe, just maybe, because Nia got the role and Jada didn't, Jada started to feel some sort of way about Nia, and that possibly drove a wedge between them. Anyway, when Jada and Will were being hung to dry because of that August Alsina entanglement situation, Nia was actually one of the people who commented on the situation. I feel bad for Will and Jada right now because they've been extremely vulnerable with their yes. personal story, yes. and it takes a lot of courage to do that. And Nia also said that because Jada has a show like The Red Table Talk, that's got to be a tremendous amount of pressure because we all have our ups and downs with love and love is a complicated thing. In addition, she said that Will is an icon and that Jada should give Will some space saying, quote, I think any key to any relationship is give your partner the room to be who he needs to be, who she needs to be. And if it means you're taking a break to do that, take the break. I know I sometimes just leave the house. I don't tell anyone where I'm going and I'm like, OK, guys, I'll be back because I've learned that if I don't take care of myself first, nothing else in the house runs smoothly. Of course, with Nia giving her two cents about Will and Jada's marriage, a lot of people also wondered whether anything happened between them, given their undeniable chemistry on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I mean, if ever there was anything between them behind the scenes, that would put her and Jada at loggerheads. Plus, people were really shipping Nia and Will back in the day, so maybe Jada felt some sort of way about that. I personally cannot confirm the dating rumors, but what I do know about Nia is that she remained pretty close with Will after working with him. And given everything that Jada has made Will go through these past few years, Nia apparently doesn't like Jada, especially after that very embarrassing situation with August. And I, I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life, you know? And I truly and really, really deeply loved and have a ton of love for her. Um, I, I devoted myself to it. I gave my full self to it. So much so to the point that I can die right now and be okay with knowing that I truly gave myself to somebody. So it's possible that the way Jada treats Will could be the reason why Nia is not so fond of her. But do you believe that something romantic possibly happened between Will and Nia? What about Gabrielle? Do you believe that she had beef with Jada for 17 years and they both didn't know what happened? What's your theory when it comes to these three women? Let me know in the comments section below.